happy Raku guys and girls out there. It's me, Raku95. Here with another installation of my Halo 5 map showcase series, Map Quest. The show where I, Raku95, give you, the viewers, a tour of maps fresh out of the works. Today we'll be looking at, at an original creation of mine I recently completed by, by the name of Blight Beak Perch. It's one that I've been jumbling in my mind for quite a while now. I've been wanting to work on, on an original whole map that, that was for her big hey, team battle. Well, or at least he's something that can work with snipers. Something big that players can properly explore, you know? Yeah, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's boot it up. Hop right into it. And we are her deploying right now. On the Blight Beak Perch. If it ever gets done loading. Hmm, I'm not sure what we, I'm not sure what I should do for her Christmas map this year. But the year will probably be over by the time I actually get it done. And then, and I'll ha have to start work on something else. Granted, I even find the time to. Oh, there we go. Map's loaded. Wait, no, come on. I want, want to bake ley lights. Generate ley lighting. Generating the ting. Eventually. Alright, there we go. Now that everything's all set, we can properly get it into the showcase of, of Blight Beak Perch. Alright, so this is the little forest cliff. Behind this little forest cliff, hearing marks of some more trees, he's at, and a path between in the library and the church that had houses to spawn for Blue Team. If we move move forward on the path, we immediately find a spawn of a battle rifle. From which we could either turn up into through the library, being snag an SMG, or get getting a scope of, of what had else is out there in the village. Albeit not much. Or just keep along along the path, me. Maybe swerve off to left and, and go up it into the church, where you can snag Covenant Carbine and, and two Plasma Grenades. As well as some conveniently placed cover. And for anyone else that try, I have to go up into the church. Alright, let's continue along the path. Which seems to split off, off into multiple paths. If we continue up mid, we find ourselves at, at the village well. Which you could actually cry out Jinju and hide him. To a certain extent. It's only more so on the deeper end. So, so keep that in mind if you, if really you have to take a shortcut. But through the well. Off to, to the rock, right, to the left, we, we find ourselves a dandy little tree house with convenient ladder to climb up. Though, seeing this is supposedly a village for, for harpies, is whoever owns the, this house could very well I'll just fly up, up into it. But I guess this is more for convenience sake. 
Danny here's uh, on the bed here, we find ourselves oh, the Danny little light, right? Just precariously sitting there on the bed. And, and as we climb back down the ladder, back, back to the solid ground, let's take a little, a little detour or down to the butcher for shop. We're behind the counter here. Here we find ourselves a spawn for a shotgun. And with a total of 10 shells, 10 low, 5 low, loaded in from the get go, and 5, I have low, loaded in from the back. I, as a standard practice for all of my high shotguns, I use losing all of them. Be it standard shotgun or her scatter shot. It's the same, same deal. Now, if we continue along the right path here, then we can get a view uh, of the fence surrounding the butcher shop, as we, we've already saw, as well as a nice little fishing hut. Which is a good way. Hey, to rack up some kill. Oh, I was I was like, say someone's like, like trying to run after you. You could make a quick detour, enter the hut. But if you got a good weapon, and just gun them back down there and in there before they can try and get in the hut and actually do some damage. And if you, for some reason, don't actually have a good weapon, well, you're in luck. At the end of this dock, we ha have two splinter nades and a sentinel beam. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is more for longer range engagement. I get the SMG over by the library. He is more suited for close range. Its reticle is bigger too, so there's that. Now what's this we have here? Why of course, it's a handy dandy lift. Hell or man can. And it launches you up, up into the mouth of this cave. And gives you a pretty good tree obstructed view of the rest of the village. Which uh... I guess isn't really all that good of a view. But hey, at least you get some ground pound on top, top of the butcher shop. And actually try and get at some proper cover. Or at least some proper height, I mean. Why did I say cover? You could just as easily hop, hop on from on the roof of the butcher shop over to the fishing hut and back. Man cannons are are laid out in a lot of different places throughout the map. Some even have weapons on them, like the bull shot. Now let's get a quick look up it, into the cave, into the mouth of it anyway. If we continue along into the cave, we'll eventually fi find ourselves a smexy e hydra launcher. A perfect little something we can pick. Head to the other side, outside the cave, to some, some splinter nades as we take the man cannon over the river and head to the other side of, of the village. Speaking of which, let's actually get a proper look at it now. So upon touching down from on the man cannon, then you can stand at yourself a storm rifle. Granted, you don't, I don't, don't have any better weapons on you. On the other side of this, this bridge containing a DMR, where we have ourselves a lovely little farm. I'm growing various crops. As well as the farmer's house. Or at least the owner of the farm. As well as a randomly placed plasma pistol, because uh, I ran out of decent ideas to, 
a throw weapon, so I randomly threw him willy-nilly. But, lo and behold, this house just happens to be the spawn of Red Team. And with the flag stand be being on the center table. Well, complete with their own um, via our and, and grenade spawns. Sorry, I got a really bad stuttering problem. I'm mean, like, I can't help. And let us continue up this pathway to through this man cannon, where we see the, another SMG. This time, I'm accompanied by two plasma nades. As we take the a lift all the way back to blue side of the village. Yes, there's multiple ways to get it back and forth across off the river. Or that flows from um, his big waterfall here. They're all the way across the map, serving as a bit of a central divide. And it flows. Goes all the way off, off as of the map. Yeah, like I said, there's a good bit of way to, to traverse Earth the river. Be it the aforementioned and man cannons, and on either side, okay. I'd, either at, out in the villages or in, in the cave before the hydro launch responds. Wait, why am I getting the feeling of I missed some things? It's because I did miss some things! Damn it! Well, let's go over them now. Anyway, this little, little dandy building we got here, or the you land right next to, who as as you land from the man cannon, is a forge, complete with a burning furnace and an energy sword on the anvil. As well as as a an interior that how you can also uh, walk, walk around a bit and get a peek outside at, at, to, at the activity around the rest of the village. Or just around the outside of the floor. The floor that they use to how many crystal holes that we you see here in these mines seems to make some, some of the uh, gear and tech and magical technology that we see throughout out the village. Mainly the uh, crystals powering in the man cannons things that we see throughout out the map. So let's have a bit of a better look into these mines, shall we? You got us some blue crystals, some, some pink crystals over here, a needler, and which it just actually made from, from, from some of the crystals, specifically that giant pink one. As we the and leave, leave the mine down, down to the river at ground level. With it's the waterfall fall falls into initially, as it then continues along, along all the way head to the great and there and outside the map. Well, I've got cover. Here's this side. And God, this showcase is just all over the place. Anyhow, let's just continue as it as is. And there's also a, a little bridge off off to the left side of, of Blue Spawn. If you continue along the path, path past the treehouse, 
you should be able to overreach it. It's this bridge right here. But you can take take to easily snag the sniper rush I will spawn off the weapon pad. And at the lip of the waterfall that a trip translates to a lower part, part of the river. And there's actually another weapon uh, out there on the other end of the river. Specifically over by I win. Where the waterfall drops off. If we eventually get over there. Yep, it's a considerable walking distance. Means if you we want to go directly up the stream. And what do we have here? A lovely little rocket launcher perched on, on a rock conveniently placed behind, behind a waterfall. Yes, this, this map definitely has its fair share of secrets and, and shit to explore. So I recommend you to explore every key engine that this map has to offer. Leave no stone unturned. Because I do have, have a bit of a tendency to be with my maps that I always leave some all sorts of goodies around. And for the those that are willing to take a minute and, and actually explore their surroundings. Things that I create for them. Because it's just that's how I roll. Anywho, that being said, I guess it about does it for, for my showcase of my original old big team battle creation, Flight Beak Perch. If you want to uh, check out this map for, for any reason whatsoever, then instructions to do so will be conveniently listed in the description below for your convenience. Conveniently! I seriously gotta stop doing that. Anywho, as usual, if you haven't liked this video, then prove it! Drop a like! If this happens to be the first video on my channel you're seeing, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you'll be alerted when new videos like this one get released. Hit that subscribe button, and then BOOM! Now you can I'll be able to help me as a YouTuber, but you'll be happy as day. Also, if you know someone else that might like to see you, you're dead. Then help! Want to share them to me if I share them down below. Anyway, until next time, this is Rackley95, signing off. Peace and out.